All right, all you space geeks out there, listen up, because one of NASA's crowning glories, the Hubble Space Telescope, marks its 25th anniversary tomorrow. All week, NASA has celebrated Hubble's quarter century of success with sky-high celebrations at the Smithsonian and Museum in Washington, D.C. Well, Hubble rocketed into orbit 350 miles above Earth aboard Space Shuttle Discovery on April 24, 1990. I actually remember that. Hubble has changed forever what we know about the universe and joining us to talk about that and about the Hubble Space Telescope and how it has revolutionized our understanding of space is, is Dr. Charles Liu, who is an astrophysicist professor at the Senior University of New York's College of Staten Island. Charles, welcome to Arise Thank America. Thank you so Thanks much so for much having me. Here. Thank this you. is the coolest thing. I do remember when this was launched into space. Yes. And most of us who remember also remember that it was there was disappointment at first. Yes, absolutely. I was a first year graduate student. I worked that summer of 1990 at the Goddard Space Flight Center under the tutelage of the late Dr. Bruce Woodgate, who was working uh, on one of the new uh, instrumentation pieces that was going to go up. And we were all just crestfallen when that news came out. But it's to the credit of my mentors that they did not panic. Like any scientist would, they figured out the problem, they solved the problem. And now Hubble is the leading scientific instrument of its generation. It took a few years and some spacewalks to That's solve right. those problems, but talk about how Hubble has been a game changer oh. in space exploration. It's completely true. Hubble Space Telescope's primary mirror is about the size of this table here, about eight and a half feet across. The entire telescope is about the length of a bus. Uh, but built in with it was the ability to point so carefully and be above Earth's atmosphere in such a way that you could look at things 20 times more clearly than with any telescope on the ground, no matter how big it was. Mm -hmm. As a result, we've been able to do two things. One is we've been able to look at things that are already cool, exploding stars, colliding galaxies with greater detail than ever before. The other, to look at things we didn't even know existed, looking at blank patches of sky and finding millions, billions of objects that we had never known existed. It's amazing discoveries and it's really changed our entire understanding of the universe. And those discoveries have told us what about ourselves? Well, it's helped nail down the age of the universe. It's helped find planets beyond our solar system. It's helped us understand different objects in our solar system, what might happen when comets collide with uh, planets such as ours. We almost starting to maybe get a sense of the origins of life mm. on planets such as Earth. What might be necessary on solar systems not yet born or planets just barely formed to eventually lead to the evolutionary processes that lead to people? I'm just wondering, has the, t the Hubble exceeded its expectations? Oh, um, 25 years ago when it was launched. I actually have a piece of uh, museum quality technology. This obviously <laughs> has been completely, a this is, this is a, um, this is, should belong in a museum. And in fact, I've seen them in museums. When Hubble was launched, this wasn't even invented yet. That mm -hmm. is how far back the technology was. But because of continuous upgrades, thanks to various spacewalks and the commitment of the scientific community, we've been able to upgrade its ability literally by thousands of times. It has remained and will continue to remain a cutting edge instrument, making discoveries that no other instrument has been able to make for years to come. You said it was built well. And I, so I think that means that it's going to continue yes. uh, to operate magnificently for some time to come. What is its lifespan? Well, the original uh, mission length is shorter than its current lifetime. So the fact that it's already extended to 25 years is wonderful. But scientists that I've been speaking with, my colleagues at the Space Telescope Science Institute, are confident it can last at least another half decade or more. And the next generation space telescope, called the James Webb Space Telescope, will be launched at that time to an even further distance with even more technology and hopefully will just take us to the next level in our understanding of the universe. Yeah, it's just so, so cool. And some of the pictures that it came back, I know yes. in those early days, after they finally That's got right. it focused and, and we could see things in a way we had never seen them before. Take us back one more time sure. and talk about what it took to fix Hubble. Well, as you know, you have a strong scientific background as well. Sometimes you just make mistakes or you do things that you've never done before. You don't know how to solve them. But it took two and a half careful years of scientists characterizing the problem, understanding what was wrong, and then creating what was the equivalent of a telescope-sized contact lens system 
put it in the optical path so that when light came through and new cameras were designed, the correction was perfect and the images were better than they'd even been designed I for. get the sense you could talk about this all night. I could. It's <laughs> well, we got to stop now. But Dr. Charles Lou, thank you so much. Oh, the pleasure Such is mine. Such a pleasure to meet thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, before we leave you tonight, we do have some breaking news to report. It appears tensions have boiled over in Baltimore where Freddie Gray demonstrations are clashing with police. Protesters were marching from City Hall to the police station when tensions rose and ended in confrontation. Baltimore police say at least two protesters have been taken into custody for destruction of property. And so obviously tensions remain high. That's going to do it for Arise America. We'll continue to cover you that, that story and bring you an update on tomorrow's edition of Arise America. I'm Debbie Turner-Bell. Have a good day. Bye-bye.